Hello and welcome to this episode of Danny's Tips. In this quick tip Photoshop tutorial, you'll learn how to intensify the colors of sunset photos using just one adjustment layer. And that adjustment layer is the channel mixer. The channel mixer is a powerful tool, especially if you're trying to make your photos more vivid and vibrant. It's also one of the most underrated adjustments simply because people don't know how to use it. In this video, you'll learn how to use the channel mixer in Photoshop to make your sunset or sunrise photo look super intense without the artifacts that you get with the saturation adjustment. This is a quick tip tutorial, and if you're interested in learning about this magic, then keep watching and you'll see how it works. First, let me show you why the vibrance or saturation adjustments don't work. Let's say that we want to intensify the sunset and make it as vibrant as we can before it becomes obviously fake. The first thing that we would try is the vibrance and saturation adjustments. The vibrance looks natural, but it's weak, and it can't push the colors as far as we want it to, even at 100%. To push it even further, you can increase the saturation, but it's going to quickly look overprocessed. So what's the solution? It's the channel mixer, and here's a preview of the results. As you can see, it gives you super intense colors that also look more natural. Most people don't know how to use the channel mixer, but trust me, it's incredibly powerful. If you want the most vivid colors possible, the channel mixer will give it to you. To use the channel mixer, you need to understand how it works. First of all, in case you don't know what channels are, color photos are made from three channels, a red, green, and blue channel that when combined forms a color photo. The channel mixer adjustment lets you recreate the individual red, green, and blue channels using a different formula. It will make more sense later when we put it into practice. Go to the adjustments panel and add a channel mixer adjustment layer. If you don't see this panel, you can open it by going to Window, Adjustments. Looking at the drop down menu here, you can see that we're currently adding the red channel. Set the green to minus 50% and the blue to minus 50%. But now the total value is at 0%, which means that your red channel is darker than usual. You generally want to keep this number at 100%. So to do this, increase the reds to 200%. What this did was tell Photoshop to recreate the red channel using 200% from the red channel, minus 50% from the green channel, and minus another 50% from the blue channel. We're going to repeat this with the blue channel. In the drop down menu, select the blue channel. Set the red to minus 50%, green to minus 50%, and blue to 200%. For the green channel, we don't need to touch it. You can if you want, but I find that for sunset photos, you get better results if you leave it alone. We're done with the settings, and the next step is to save this as a preset so I can conveniently access it next time. To do this, go to the panel menu on the top right corner and choose Save Preset. Give it a name, hit the Save button, and now you can access it from the presets drop down menu. And we're done. You can adjust the intensity by changing the layer opacity. But I'll leave mine at 100% so it's easier for you to see the difference. Here's how the image looks like before and after. And to end the video, here are more examples of photos processed with this technique. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please don't forget to hit the like button. Also, if you like this video, definitely check out my video on vibrancy masking. It's super useful. It'll let you bump up the saturation really high. It'll keep the gray stuff gray. So your rock, stone, gravel, anything that's neutral, it'll keep those colors neutral. 
Anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.